Hey everyone, it's Zoe again with the Teams team here at Microsoft. Creating and managing schedules can feel like a never-ending chore, but with shifts in Microsoft Teams, you can spend less time on scheduling and more time focusing on doing your best work. Let's explore how to create, update, and manage shifts together in Teams. You can create a schedule in shifts from scratch, by importing an existing schedule through Excel, or with a connection to your company's workforce management system. In order to create a schedule, reminder, you must be an owner of the team on Teams. Let's start by creating a team from scratch. First, open the Shifts app, and then navigate to add a new schedule, and select the team you want to create a schedule for, quickly confirming the time zone, and clicking Create. You're now ready to fill out the details and update the schedule. Now in a new schedule, I recommend starting by adding groups and giving them a name to organize your team members by role or department. For example, if you're a hotel, you might have a front desk, maybe a valet group, and then maybe uh, customer service. This group structure is key for making sure managing a shift just gets that much easier on you. Now, once your groups are set, you can add people and their shifts. To add people, select a group and then click Add People to Group. You can either enter their Azure Active Directory ID, their email address, or if they're already a part of the team, just click to add and repeat that as needed. Next, you'll want to add some shifts. You can either assign a shift to an individual, or you can add an open shift so anyone on your team can pick it up if it fits their schedule. Before you add a shift, make sure you're in the row of the person you want to assign it to and on the date you want. Now select Add Shifts or double click on that empty shift. Enter in the details by giving it a name, maybe picking a theme color, adding in any shift notes so your team knows what's happening during their shift, like remember to ask everyone to join our rewards program. And then you can create some activities that break down what they will be doing in their shift. So maybe they'll be doing front desk for the first chunk of their shift. Then they'll have a 30 minute lunch break. And then they'll finish their shift at the customer service desk. Save and repeat as needed. Now when you're all done with creating shifts for your entire team, be sure to share this new schedule with your team so they can view and request changes to their own shifts as needed. Once you've shared the schedule, Shifts also makes it easy to manage it with your team. One of the easiest actions is promoting and enabling self-service functions so employees can request a shift swap, time off, or even clock in or out. That way, you can receive requests and approve them easily and from anywhere even on a mobile device while you're on the floor, which then automatically updates the entire schedule. Whew, that was a lot in a short amount of time, but using shifts in Teams can help take the chaos out of scheduling by allowing you to create, update, and manage your schedules from any device. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to discover all the ways you can use Microsoft Teams.